while the family continues building. Gabe and Billy take a break from construction to go on an important deer hunt. Well, that trail definitely shows they're here a lot. So for this scene, we were very limited with footage. As you can see, a lot more interview than I normally would want to use in a scene. So, you know, instead of just doing the basic, like, they're going on a hunt, what are they looking for? Oh, there's some salt on the trees, or, you know, look at this. It looks like, you know, a horn might have brushed up against this tree. We decided to make this scene about something else. And, you know, in a, a previous episode, as you saw from the flashback, um, you know, Gabe, or one of the sons, had made a mistake and missed the deer. Okay, oh, there it is. What is he waiting for? Oh, shit. Missed it. Shot underneath it. It always sucks to miss, especially when we're needing food as bad as we do. So now we go hungry uh, as a consequence. I'm gonna go chase him. No, you're not. It's gone now. So we use this instead of just, you know, making it about learning to, you know, evolve our character to evolve a relationship between a father and a son. Um, and that's what we did. And, you know, it's honestly one of my favorite scenes to cut because it had all those elements. It depressed the heck out of me because he felt like he let everybody down. And in our world, one shot can let everybody down. And it's hard for him to understand that we all know, we've all missed. So it's important to me today for him to get a deer. Interviews for me never really bring up a topic. They will punctuate it or they will add some sort of insight. I'll let the verite or the narration do the changing of the topic if, if needed. And, you know, it's all a flow. You know, it's where you are in the scene. Like, at what point do you want, you know, something to change? Like when they, you know, when we went from talking about how he missed the deer to now being on the hunt. And you have been doing this a long time. I mean, we were doing this, you were that big. I made shots with you on my back. Hold your ears, hold your ears. I am and I just went and fired. After seeing that verite of them talking about, you know, their past, like, I remember you doing this when you were younger. To myself, I said, we should now, if we go and get pickups, we should ask them about their history. Well, I remember, like, every step we took that day. The minute the deer went down, you started patting me on the head. Well, can I skin him? Can I skin him? <laughs> when you go out hunting, huh, that rite of passage is basically the doorway between boyhood and manhood, because that's one of the first thresholds you cross is becoming a provider. You want to get a point across as an editor. You want to get a point across. You're not working with you know trained actors that you know are delivering these lines perfectly. And sometimes they flub those as well, I'm sure. But for reality, you're dealing with folks that are, you know, in front of it, especially a first season. You know, like dealing with people who don't really aren't used used to be in front of a camera, and you got to make them say what you need to that they tried to say, but they put a lot of us, ahs, la la la. Because we're pressed for time here. I only got like two minutes for a scene. I don't got time for someone to like hold a thought unless it's dramatic. I can't let my family down. I have to return with the deer. I mean, I have to return with food. What is that right up there? You can do it. You got this one. Let's go. Take the shot. 